let's just put this in the comments. There we go. All right, good afternoon, everybody. If you're watching this after the fact, um, or even now, I am gonna be putting the playlist on the first comment just down below. So you are able to just go and open up Spotify since we will be playing music. I'll at least have a playlist right there for you so you can have it going. Um, we're not starting for about 10 minutes, but I wanted to just check in, get my set up and everything working so I'm in a good frame and say hello. So um, we are starting about 10 minutes. If you're getting here early, then if you have weights, feel free to grab them. If you don't, of course, as you've seen from a lot of things, just a heavy book, um, college textbooks, I have a Spanish dictionary, you know, whatever the heck works, um, and we make sure it's hard anyway as we go through. My name's Derek, by the way. I'm from Portland, Oregon. I work at, uh, and I train at Planet Granite in downtown Portland here. So, um, yeah, feel free and uh, say hello. And again, it'll be about seven, eight minutes. We'll get started right at six o'clock uh, PST, which is seven o'clock your guys' time. Um, I actually grew up in Colorado, so it's actually a real treat uh, getting to do this one here. I lived there until I was about 15 before you know, my parents and stuff moved away, and most of my family is still there. So um, Again, my name is Derek, and we've got five minutes till we officially start, so um, yeah, feel free to say hello, or just start moving around, set yourself up. Again, all you're going to need are some weights and a playlist. Uh, Maggie's focus is all down in the uh, comments there for you guys as we kind of work through uh, everything today. <clears throat> uh, mostly going to be um, body weight. There's uh, two exercises that we're going to be doing with weights or weighted type um, things, but most of it's going to be uh, body weight. Let me see if we can get that lighting to fix. Oh, that made it worse. There we go. Good, most uh, everything is going to be timed today, so you don't have to worry about rep counts or anything like that. I'll just call out every single transition as we go. Um, it'll be pretty quick. Everything I'll do modifications for, so of course if you have any injuries, um, hopefully I'll have something right away for it. If I don't, um, as I go, I'll be watching the comments, so you're more than welcome to reach out and be like, my wrist doesn't work, or if you have something that you're, you want me to be considerate of or make sure I call out um, even beforehand, just go ahead and throw it in the, the comments or down below, and I will make sure that there's something in there uh, to be there instead. So we're just gonna start with an extended warm up as we go. So we're gonna start with windmills, Hands go up nice and high, arms reach all the way down around to our feet, and back around. And we'll switch directions each time we come up. And switch. And switch. There we go. Thank you guys for being here. If you're just getting in, uh, if you have any weights, you won't really need more than probably 20, 25 pounds. Uh, one of the exercises will be really light, so only a few pounds. Or again, heavy books are going to be a perfect alternative instead as we work through. I'll make sure I'll be giving weight selections or recommendations as we go. Next up, just some regular squats. Feet nice and wide, knees pressing out. Squat down, lift back up. Again, send your hips back so you keep your knees over your heels, just about. Today is going to be a 45 minute exercise. We're going to be hitting a lot of the body. We're going to be doing a mix of strength. We'll have cardio. And then there's going to be some burnout exercises at the end of each of our six minute sections, uh, which we'll be doing four total. Each one that we do, twi uh, that we do we'll be doing twice. Just regular squats, and it's moving nice and low. If something's bothering you, you can move around a little bit. I like to have a lot of fun. I like to dance with my, my exercises a lot of times. Um, so always feel free to add all of that extra fun flavor in, as you'll see. Next up, plank walkouts. Hands up high, reach up tall, reach down to your feet, walk yourself all the way up to a plank, and then all the way back up. Stand up, walk all the way out, just to plank position, shoulders over hands, walk all the way back, stand up tall, take a deep breath, and dive back down. Next up, we're going to go into a Cossack squat. So as you come up to the stand the next time, go ahead and pause there. Feet wide, we're going to have one heel, or my toes face up towards the ceiling, and I'm just going to go side to side, letting my leg open up and my toes face nice 
nice and tall. You can go wider, so you can go all the way down to like the yoga skandhasana or like the dragon's pose, uh, I think it's called, and you come down, back and forth. And I know this will be repeating myself, but those of you that are, haven't just got in, again, light weights will be perfect. Most everything will be body weight, but if you have some heavy books or cans or something, you know, that you've been using for weights lately, that'll all work just fine, or no weights, also totally an option. Do some jumping jacks, move through. So again, for our hit exercise, we're gonna do a five minute warm up, starting right now, <laughs> then four six minute sections, and I'll call it all out as we go for that next time. Okay, last one, twist, knee to opposite elbow. So help yourself up, it's kind of a march, and you're trying to bring your knee to your elbow, not your elbow down to your knees. Try not to hunch down, moving more. Nice big upper body twist, side to side. Next up, back to windmill toes, arms reach up nice and high, all the way down in a big circle, up and around, and switch directions. Next up, squats, arms out in front if you want some balance, sit your hips back. I always try to think about somebody's got like a lasso around my hips and then pulling me back as I squat down so my chest can still stay up relatively tall. You're trying to make sure you're not just getting low by hinging over. We're trying to make sure it's our hips that bring you down, not your chest. Knees spread out wide, toes grip the ground. Press. Five. Three. Two. And one, going on to plank walk up, so to the edge of your mat or wherever your space is, walk your hands all the way up down to a plank position. Walk all the way back. Hold as in half as much as possible, bend at the knees, you need help reaching the floor. Walk out to a plank can be on your knees, it's always an option for anything in plank position, which we've got a couple today. Walking back. Maybe three more. Out and back. Maybe a little bit faster, start to build up the heat in your body a little bit. Pause and plank, push all the way back up to stand. Next up, classic squat, feet nice and wide. Think like a sumo squat, toes, one toe faces up towards the ceiling. And then you come side to side. I like to get a nice big stretch in the back of the leg, underneath the hamstrings and the calves there. Hips come low, chest still stays up nice and tall. Even if you're losing your balance, I'm lying right now. Four, three, two, last one, and jumping jacks. Go ahead and just gonna get back into our heated warm up. Okay, we're fine. Jumping jacks, back and forth. A little bit faster, I can get your heart rate going, make yourself strong. Five, three, two, and one. Next up, squat, toe tap. So we're just gonna actually start by stepping, tapping side to side, so think step, tap, step, tap. Can be foot down the ground the whole time for low impact, or a little bit more, you're just gonna be skating a little bit side to side, the a little hop or a little hop. Whatever you're feeling at today, side to side, feet tap, and then you return back and forth. 15 more seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Standing up tall, march, twist, knee to opposite elbow. Cool. See a lot more names kind of popping in, so again, if you're getting here, light weights, five to 25 pounds. There's a playlist in the comments right up at the top there. You're more than welcome to throw that on. Or if you got whatever music you like, yeah, it's your jam. Make it happen. Five, three, and one. Good. First round, we're going to start with our weights um, for the first two exercises, or first three exercises rather. So, 
you're gonna want somewhere in about a five, three to 12, uh, yeah, three to 12, maybe 15 pound range um, for most of these. If you have multiple weights, then maybe up to 25 for our first exercise, which is gonna be squat, bicep, curl combination. So it's gonna be one squat, one bicep curl. Every exercise we're gonna do for one minute, and I'll call out all the transitions, so don't worry about reps. Just make it nice and quality, and I'll call out these other exercises as we go. So first up, we're starting with our one minute squat bicep curls in three, two, and one. Squat, curl, nice and slow. Elbows kind of staying towards the sides. I'm trying to stay right engaged so my elbows don't flare out. seconds, get nice and low, push your knees out wide, start from the floor, and push yourself away. Halfway there, you're always allowed to change weights as we go. If you're not doing much of a squat today, you can just do your half, do half squats or something a little bit less. You can always do this without weight as well. 15 seconds. Breathe as you exhale, all the way up, inhale, down, exhale. 10, five, three, two, and one. Now weights go behind you, you'll want light weights for this, only get about five to 15 pounds. I'm gonna push them together. If I've got books, I can just push those spines together and we're just gonna do a little pulse right behind our back for 30 seconds. So pushing the weights together, I'm gonna keep it nice and wide, so I'm just a little bit wider than short, or just about shoulder width. And I'm just going to do light pulses behind my back. It does not take a lot of weight, but you're going to feel the front of your shoulders for 10. Five, three, two, and one. Facing forward, same weight selection. Out wide, all the way up to shoulder height, and back to now. Lateral raise. We're getting just up to shoulder height. We don't need to go any higher than that. Just pause and we'll control all the way back down. Don't let gravity be in control. You're the one in control of when and where the weights come down. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Last one with our weights. You need to put them down for a second. You're always welcome to. Lateral lunge, weights frame your knee. Step back up to tall, other side. So again, lateral lunge, stepping out wide, knee, weights frame my knee, stand back up. Trying to make sure that keeping my chest tall, and it's my hips that get me low, not my chest. So notice I'm not just leaning over, I'm really sitting down, almost like I'm going into a chair. Halfway back there, and then we'll put the weights down, 30 seconds. Breathe with it, hold on, and really squeeze onto your waist, it's engaging your forearms, your forearms might be on fire, and that's perfect. Especially being climbers, we're used to holding on for a long time. And if nothing else, we'll be good training for it. 15 seconds. 10. Five, just a couple more. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and put your weights down. Next up, we're gonna do a squat, tap, hop. So we're gonna do squat down, step to the side, tap your feet, and then hop up, squat back down, tap and hop. So low step, jump. If you're doing low impact, just come onto your toes, lower back down, step. Stay low the entire time you step to the side. Again, low impact is no jump. Just come up under your toes, extend to find height. 30 more seconds. This is our little cardio section, so we're gonna get the heart rate up. We're gonna keep it up for the full two minutes here. 20 seconds. Can you get a little bit lower? Can you stay low into your jump? Let it be like a spring. 10 more. Big step. Three, two, and one. Next up, just booty kickers running in place. Knees come in. 30 seconds. And then our last little twist. We're gonna add at the end. Now getting closer to a sprint. 15 seconds can go a little bit faster. Arms can go with you. Five, three, two, and now my favorite part. 
plant your feet, and we're just going to twist side to side. So think like that old song, the twist, literally, what I want you to do is let yourself swing side to side. Knees go wide, hips twist, shoulders go opposite direction. 15 seconds. Get your hips, get your shoulders open, get low. 10, how low can you go? For five, three, two, and one. Now for our burnout exercise, for one more minute, single leg deadlifts. If you need a wall, you can use one for balance in front of you. We're just gonna reach forward, lighten in the standing leg, slow transition, switch legs each time. Lunge over, chest stays tall, reach down towards your toes, other leg goes back behind you. Bonus points so you can point your toe. If you do so, not only will it make you stronger, but it's also prettier. So as long as your toes are pointing, you're just gonna look better doing it the whole time. Always important, especially for gymnastics and different acrobatics activities that a lot of us are into. 20 seconds. You don't have to go all the way down to the ground, just find a stretch for the back of your hamstring, pause, and return. 10. here and now that you've seen the first round adjust any weights or any difficulty based on what you're kind of feeling if you want a little bit more take it right up if you need a little less again treat your body the way it should be just listen to it and respect it as we go um, we're gonna do that whole thing and then our second round will be similar format but completely different exercise a lot more core focused uh, as well 20 more seconds just open up your chest and breathe And we're starting with our bicep curls again, one more time. Squat to bicep curls. The only last three exercises in the weights today. We're getting started here again in three, two, and one. As with any exercise, anytime you need a moment to catch your breath, to slow down, it's always the most important thing. My number one rule is respect your body and honor your body by listening to it. It tells you, take a moment, hey, let's slow down. That's the most important thing you can do more than anything else is get to know your body and listen when it tells you it needs a little rest. 30 seconds. How low can you get your squats and knees? Press away from each, each other, especially if they're shaking as you get down. Try to engage the outside of your glutes to use your stabilizer muscles, especially the sides of your butt. So work, 20 seconds. Last couple, we get two more in. Elbows stand tight. Three, two, and one. Palms back, back behind you. If you've got weights, you can push them together. And again, just light pulses, just a little bit away from the body. Keep your ribs knitted. So I'm keeping my glutes and my core engaged as I lift the weights behind me. Just trying to activate the front of my shoulders. 15 seconds. Might be a nice little stretch. Can you control it in both directions so it doesn't just fall back in? Five, three, two, and one. Palms face into the sides, palms face down towards the floor, excuse me. Lift up, lower back down. Breathe in, exhale, inhale down. Fifteen seconds. Maybe pause at the top for just a moment. Control back down. Something at your isometric hold. Three, two, and one. Last one, lateral lunges. Again, stepping side to side. Step wide, waist frame your knee. Step back together, opposite side. Now keep your chest relatively tall. Bring your hips down low. But you're kind of working your pistol squat a little bit, side to side. 30 more seconds. 
Last wave of exercise. Grab on tight, squeeze just a little bit harder. Work your grip strength at the same time. 15 seconds, get low. Can you get one inch lower on your last ones here? 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Five, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set your weights down. Side to side, step, tap, hop. Squat, tap, hop. Low, use your arms propel your jump if you're jumping today. The lower the squat, the better you're gonna work. Knees press out even on the step. So even as I'm pushing, my knees go out. Together, lift. Push your toes, land soft. You wanna make as little noise as possible. Reduce as much impact on our joints. 15 seconds. Embrace the fire that's building inside. This is where we get stronger, where we're uncomfortable. 10, five, three, two, and one. Last exercise, knees high, in place. 30 seconds here, and we're gonna twist one more time. Single leg, deadlifts after that. Basically just doing our warrior three, and we're done. A little faster, 15, knees high. 10, five, three, two, and one, twist. Knees opposite of your shoulders. As far as you can, think you're rushing twists almost, but you're standing, squatting, and swinging breath up nice and tall. If you've got music going, see if you can match the beat as you go. Low, 15. Five, three, two, and one. Last one, single leg deadlifts. Again, if you need a wall, I'll use this to kind of show. You can use your hands on like a bench or a countertop. Switch sides, lift your back leg up. Try to get yourself parallel with the floor. If you take yoga, head or track, think you're warrior three. It's basically what you're doing. And you're just switching each time. Lost my balance. It's okay. Back up. Again, you should be losing your balance a little bit. It should be challenging. Otherwise, bend your knee a little bit more and get a little bit of muscle out of your bones, and, or a little bit of strength out of your bones and into your muscles. 15 seconds. You kind of get what I'm saying. Using the wrong words, but almost there. 10. Chest is tall, bring your shoulder blades together for three, two, and one. Good. Take a little water break. We're gonna take two minutes here before we get to our final two rounds. Similar format, completely different exercises. And then we'll have some stretching down here at the end. If you are still here, you can always throw me a little um, comment or one of those like thumbs up in the chat. Makes everything flash up on my screen. It's kind of fun, at least for, for us coaches here. <clears throat> a little bit of back lip. I'm just going to take some time to breathe. Again, you don't need any weights for this next section. It'll be um, all body weight exercises from there. So similar idea, I mean, most of the exercises we'll be able to pick up pretty quick. So I'm just gonna um, call them out as we go and describe them as we go. So that way we just get a lot of movement in, um, pretty much. So we'll be doing uh, strengthening, strengthening core, and then it's kind of a core um, cardio kind of mix in with that piece. So stick with me one minute at a time. I'm gonna demonstrate the first exercise before we go. So we got 30 seconds. 
walk out push-ups. So as we get into the warm-up, you're gonna reach up tall, bend down to the ground, walk out to a plank position, add one push-up, and then walk yourself all the way back up. Stand and back. If you're feeling really adventurous, you're more than welcome to throw a couple of burpees in there because we're pretty close to doing that at this time anyway. But just one walk out, one push up. On your knees if you have to, or if you need to, I just want the best range of motion. Really, if you're only coming down a quarter of the way, you're not going to do the full push up, so I want you to do it from your knees and really push all the way. Or if you push up negatives, we're going to stay in plank position, bring yourself all the way down, even if you can't push yourself back up, and then just get out to like a downward facing dog or a child's pose and get back up to stand. All right, it is time to start with walk out push up for one minute in three, two, one, let's go. Walk out, palms right underneath your shoulders, elbows in tight, walk all the way back up, bend your knees to stand up. Nice big cleansing breath each time. Walk it back, breathe in, breathe out. Way there. Not so bad. You keep your elbows in nice and tight. Press through your fingertips as you walk into the ground. Engages your forearms. Keeps your, your wrists a lot safer as we go. 15 seconds. Ten. Get one more in. Next time you come up to standing weight there. We'll all be going into squat jacks in three, two, one. This is a combination jumping jack and a squat. So jump out, squat down low, jump back feet together, jump out, squat, and down. If you've got a friend, if you're practicing with a partner, this is a great time to play patty cake. You just have to put hands at the bottom, push your hands together at the top. Two. Or if you just made it a little bit different, you're gonna grab and twist down to the floor. Twist, top. If you want a little faster, you want a little more cardio. You just make it nice and explosive like that. 30 more seconds. Again, uncomfortable is a sensation that we're fighting for. When you're burning, it's a little bit hard to talk. That's when you know you're at the right intensity. Uncomfortable is where we get stronger. Uncomfortable is where we thrive. Five, three, Two and one. Now we're gonna come all the way down to the ground. Lay down, arms go wide, make a T-shape, and then bend your knees and let them fall side to side. We're gonna do windmills, just letting your hips fall side to side, but your shoulders stay on the ground the whole time. Side to side. If you want more of a challenge, you want some more heat, straighten your legs, even just a little bit, will make it significantly more challenging as I'm pushing into the floor as I twist. Five more seconds. From here, we're gonna go into Russian twist. So we're gonna sit up, put our feet down on the ground in three, two, and one. Sit up tall, lean back slightly, and just twist side to side. Trying to touch the floor behind you by sitting along and erect through the spine. Strong, straight spine is what we're striving for. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, and one. Flip over, hands on the floor, plank position, and we're gonna do a little step or hop all the way to, uh, to squat position, and then step back. Squat and up. A little more challenge, you're gonna do a little hop. Get landing in a low squat position, or step. Squat, jump, or step. But only coming to your squat position, so we're not standing up, we're staying low as we go. Jump back. You might notice it's pretty much the low side of the burpee as we work back and forth. Okay, hit the chest. Okay, 15 seconds. A little bit faster. Try to get five more. One, two, three, five, three, two, and one. Come down onto the ground. So we're gonna wait in just this all fours, hands and knees position and a little bit of alternating bird dog. So reach out, arm, opposite arm and uh, leg, 
Knee touches elbow, switch. Reach and tap. Reach, grab and tap. And I'm not thinking about how high or how much of an arch I can get to my back, I'm thinking how far I can reach forward and back. Reach through your fingertips, it's just out of grasp. Whatever you're trying to reach for, your toes at the point. Extend, knee to elbow. Extend, knee to elbow. If you want more of a challenge, go on plank. You can do the same thing, but you're just going to lift your heel instead of straighten the leg. Always a beautiful option right there, especially for our balance. 15. Alright, last minute, we're going to do hollow body or um, boat pose. In 3, 2, and 1, coming onto your seat, lean back slightly and just hold. Open yourself up. Embrace the sensations in your body, the heat that you yourself have generated, the change that you're cultivating in your body right here, right now. This is your body responding to you getting stronger right this moment. If you want more, you just extend your right on out. Hollow body is always here waiting for you. Halfway there, 30 seconds. You can do anything for 30 more seconds. Hold it tight, squeeze in, legs pull together. Breathe in. 15. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, and relax. Let yourself collapse. Just feel the ground underneath you. You've got just one more round to go. When you're ready, just work your way up to standing. We're going to take a two-minute little pause to catch our breath before we go into our way around. <clears throat> Thank you all for sticking with me. Those of you that are still here, you know, it can be intense, but especially just showing up virtually. It's a whole new experience, and it makes a big difference just knowing that you guys are here with me. Uh, as I work out, I know I work a lot harder. Um, just knowing that there's four of you here with me. Take some nice deep breaths. And if you want to keep your heart rate up a little bit, you're not quite done with the ball, you can just stay in like a little boxer shuffle. We got one minute until we start again. Just keep yourself lightly active. Something where you can breathe. It's not very, it's not too challenging, but just keeps your heart rate just that little bit extra elevated as we go. One more round. You've got this. You've already made it through three rounds. What's one more going to do? Not too bad. And you already know what's coming. 30 seconds. Walk out push ups is where we're going to start. Bring just a little rest push ups. Now, it's the last one of those that we're doing today. Just the absolute best. Even if you have to take your time really push and grip right through. This is where we can make the magic happen when you're a little bit fatigued and you still keep on going on anyway. We're starting up in three, two, and one. Reach up tall, walk all the way out, full extension. You're so close now, just six minutes left in class. Six minutes of work and then we're off to stretching. All the way down, all the way back up. Nose, chest, hips all touch the ground at the same time. Push all the way back up. Top of your push up, you're thinking, how close can I get my back to the ceiling? Really lift yourself up, getting that extra little bit of rounding as you activate the serratus interior. The lift, push. 15 seconds. <clears throat> lift and down. Push up. Last one. Next time you come up to standing, wait there, or start your squat jacks if you remember them. In three, two, and one. Squat down, lift back up, side to side. I can give a little bit of a twist, get a little bit of thoracic mobility working as well. As I get low, bring your hips down, not my chest. If I'm not just leaning over, I'm squatting, bringing it low, like a sumo squat or a frog squat, my knees are wide. Stay low, 
flat up and return. Almost halfway. Knowing we're on the core next, we can go just a little bit faster, but still stay with good form. Big hop, quick return. 15. Line on your feet. Five, three, two, and one. All the way down to the ground. Windmills. Arms wide, knees fall side to side, shoulders stay in contact with the ground. Breathe through, let your hips fall side to side. Shoulders in contact with the ground the whole time. 10 seconds and we're coming back up to seated for a Russian twist. Same thing but with our shoulders in three, two, and one. Sit up tall, feet can be down on the ground, or again, they can float. There could be a little bit extra challenge as long as you're not slouching through your back. We're trying to make sure we're not grounding. We're sitting up tall through the crown of our head. Tall, straight, proud spines. Let your posture be your power. 10 seconds. Sorry, 15 seconds. A little off there. Ten, five, eight, three, two, and one. Flip it back over. Pop jacks. The low side of your burpee. Plank position. Jump up. Jump back. Jump up. Jump back. Fingertips push into the ground each time. Jump to the plank. Full flat plank. Pause. Jump. Core is tight on every single jump back. Do not let your hips drip, dip. You are in such control that your core is staying strong. Whether you're stepping, you're jumping, or you're doing handstand, whatever it is going on right here, right now. Fifteen. A little bit faster. Keep your heart rate going. Ten. Five. Three. Two and one. Plank position. Or sorry, all fours or plank. Bird dog. Reach, pull, and return. Switch side. Reach, grab, pull, return. Two minutes left to go. Really find every inch of extension that you have. Like you're reaching for an apple or something just out of grasp. You're getting as much extension and as much contraction rounding through your shoulder. Push your shoulders up towards the ceiling. 30 seconds. Nothing can stop you now. Not this close to the end. One rep at a time. The last minute was just gonna be that final hollow body to solidify our victory. Just notice your heartbeat, notice the sensations on your skin. You don't need to judge them, just 
Let them be as they are. And you're just going to slowly make your way up to seated. Again, you can come onto your side. We're going to come up to a seat and then all the way to a lunge. You're going to start stretching by coming into a lunge uh, kneeling position. And hinge forward. Find a stretch to the front of the hip. Option to take one arm across the body. Open up the shoulder. Start to slowly get a lightly deeper breaths. And especially just trying to breathe a little bit deeper on your exhales or a little bit longer. And give just a little bit of thanks and appreciation to your body and what it's capable of doing. Switch sides. If you're in this position, see if you can pull your shoulder down. Especially a lot of us rock climbers, we tend to be up here because our traps are super aggressively strong. And so I want to actively pull my shoulder down away from my ear. So away from my ear in position. Lean forward a little bit more to find a little bit extra stretch. And take your hands, frame your foot, and then sink back. Bring your toes up. Light bend in your knee, especially if you, your knee locks out too easily. I always keep a light bend in my knee um, to prevent from overextending. I can still get plenty of a stretch, especially as I lightly drag my heel back towards my body. Again, my name is Derek. I'm a coach down here in Portland, Oregon. Up here in Portland, Oregon, rather. Um, I want to thank you guys again for being here with me. Um, again, my playlist is down in the uh, comments if you missed it or you just want to get an 90s playlist anyway. Switch sides. sides. Bring your hand into your foot. Gently push yourself away. And when we're saying close out, I always like to close all my classes with just a few deep breaths. We're going to go in through the nose and out through the mouth. Arms crossed. I'm going to reach in. Breathe in. Reach up tall. Full open exhale. Two more times. Breathe in. And let it go. One more time. Full deep open inhale. Completely exhale. Thank you guys again. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please just throw them down below. Uh, and again, with a great appreciation for being here. Hope you guys had a good time and you sweat uh, with me here. Um, have a good evening uh, from Derek and Portland. See ya.